Shalom, shalom. I'm going to start by giving my praises to the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Um, my name is Brother Napak, friend of Camp Prophets in Babylon down here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And um, I want to give Dabarnas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I want to get into a short, quick lesson, you know, on, an art on this article, you know, and I'm going to uh, name this lesson, uh, They Still Hate You Niggas. All right, they being, you know, the so the Esau Edom, which is the so-called, you know, white, white people, you know, which are really red. You know, you can see by the picture right here. Those guys fucking red, man. All right, if you slap them, you're going to turn red, man. All right, but um, it says uh, Jacksonville's shooter wanted Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly to be killed on sight, calling them nigger lovers. All right. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know if you you know if you uh been watching, man, you know you had this guy right here, you know who uh from Jacksonville, you know he uh he had um went into Dollar Tree or Dollar General in in Jacksonville, you know last Saturday, and he killed you know three so-called black people, you know that was in there, you know his he was targeting you know so-called black people, man, Jake. You know, and he was he was saying that you know he he, he wanted to uh, kill Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly be and because they were so called you know nigger lovers man, all right. And um, I just showed you how much hate these devils have for you man, all right. Jake's still trying to be buddy buddy friendly friendly with uh Esau Edom man, but deep down this is all of their nature man. This is what they rely on man. You know when you get when you push your friends, you know, your your white friend button, you know, hard enough, he gonna end up calling you that N-word, man. He'll end up calling you, the, you know, a nigga, man. All right? And, um, that's where a lot of these, you know, all these, um, you know, so-called, you know, white people, all right? That's just of, of their nature, man. You know? And a lot of, you got a lot of them that are like, man, I never said that word. I never said, you know, never called anybody a, a, a nigger or any of that. You know, but that'd be all false, man. All right. They said it before. They said it, you know, plenty of times before, man. All right. You know, but they, they try to play that, that card like they never did it because, you know, you know they know Jake will beat their ass, man. And this is one of the guys. He, he was most likely one of those guys that... Denied of ever saying, you know, calling someone an, uh, or a so-called black person a nigga or anything of, of such. You know, but look at him now, man. All right. He want to kill you niggas and you nigga lovers. All right. According to what, you know, he was trying to do. All right. But, um, <clears throat> uh, Con, I saw, I want to get this preset right here. Let's start. But Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5 says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had it in. All right, this is what the Lord is saying, you know, because, you know, they, they have a perpetual hatred, you know, everlasting hatred towards Jake, man, towards, you know, so-called black people, man. All right, so-called blacks, Native Americans, you know, Indians. You know, they they have um, a perpetual hatred towards us, man. All right. You know, that, 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 that goes on from generation to generation. You know, this hatred, you know, is moved on to their kids, man. All right. You know, because really it's the same spirits, you know, reincar reincarnated, man. All right. Same spirits from back then. You know, they're reincarnated. That's why I said, you know, you know all these Edomites, you know, all, these, all of uh, Esau, you know, it's in their nature to hate. Yo, Jake, man. All right, because they did it in their past lives, man. All right, it was a part of them in their past lives. They had, you know, they hated you in their past lives. Now they're back here today with in the same spirit, man. So that it's, it's a part of their nature. It's a part of their spirit, you know, to hate, you know, Jake, man. All right. So that's why when you, like I said, when you push someone's button hard enough, you know, one of their buttons hard enough, you know, they end up calling you an inward, man. All right. You know, and you have, you know, you have some people, you know, are, you know, yeah, you got people that, that, that looks like, looks like these, uh, Edomites, man, all right, 
but really they're Jake, man. You know, like this one guy at my job, I always thought, you know, just by the looks of it, you would think he's an Edomite, man, but he's actually Native American. He's, he's from the tribe of Gad, man, you know, and it's a beautiful thing, you know, because I was, I was talking to him and he could feel in the spirit, you know, he was, the way he was saying things that he was saying, you know, he was like, hey, you ever listen to Gunna, bro? Your favorite rapper, Gunna? He said, I was like, no, nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about, you know, was songs that we like and jump, and he was, we was talking now, and we was able to laugh, you know, because a lot of these Edomites are not funny, man. They, you know, they don't have, you know, actual good humor, man. And he had humor, man. You know, he was talking and stuff, and I was like, bro, you know, my spirit is bearing witness with this spirit. I'm trying to figure, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, what, 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 what is your father? You know, he was like, yeah, he's, he's Native American. But, you know, you see me, like, a little white, man, you know what I'm saying? So, and he was he was explaining that, man. So, it's like a lot of these people, you know, are a lot of a lot of um people that look like Esau could, you know, originally be Jake, man, all right? And I was just saying that because, you know, you don't, you don't just go by off of looks, you know what I'm saying? Because some, some of them, you know, like that guy right there, he was like, you know, I don't, you know, have no problems. I don't, I, I wouldn't say it like he told me. I don't never say that word and jump like that, you know. But ultimately, this guy's a whole Jake the whole time, man. You know, all right, he he, he was Jake the whole time, you know. And um, <clears throat> I didn't really tell him any much of it yet because you know, in the work environment, you know, you don't really want to put put that stuff out there like that. You know, you end up losing your job, you know. <laughs> but um. Yeah, like it says, it's because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. So you have these devils that have a perpetual hatred towards Jake, man. They shed the blood of Jake, all right, in their past lives, man, all right. And you have this Jake, this 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 um Edomite right here, man. You know, he shed the blood of three Jakes, you know, in this life. You know, no telling what he did before that. No telling why he treated you know Jake before that, before this incident. You know, probably things that was been swept under the rug. You know, with this, you no know, damn devil, man. All right, that we don't even know of. All right, but um, we you got Jake, man. That that still try to be buddy buddy with these people, man. All right, and they don't like you for shit. All right, it says verse six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, uh, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. And saith, Thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So, you know, you had it where, you know, uh, the Lord says, as I live, you know, save the Lord. Therefore, as I live, I will prepare thee into blood, man. All right. The Lord says he's going to prepare them to blood. You know, uh, they're going to have to recompense his coming, man. All right. They're going to have to pay for what they done. You know, he going to have to pay for what he did. All right. You know, it's going to be by blood. All right, you know, so the Lord's going to be able to put, no, the Lord's going to put these devils into slavery, man, all right, into captivity, just like how we had to go into captivity under them, you know, how we had to, had our blood shed by them, our land stole, every, our spoiled, you know, we were spoiled as a people, all right, the same thing is going to have to happen unto these people, man, all right, because look what they're doing, look what they're, you know, getting away with, you know, they're able to get away with certain stuff like this, man, all right. Him not so much because he did it publicly, publicly, uh, you know, publicly, so like you, and um, <clears throat> you know everybody's seen it, so they had they had to lock his ass up, man. All right, but they probably give him good treatment in there, you know. If it was a Jake, man, you know they probably would have killed that nigga, man, you know. But um, since Esau eat him, man, you know they, they, they uh let him, you know, put him in you know a jail cell. All right, with. Goddamn, um, <laughs> five star rating food and shit, man. You know how you had it with the one dude, uh, that shot up the church, man. You know they gave him a, uh, some some water, you know, and had him just sitting out there chilling, man. You know that's how these devils, you know, see their own people. You know they put their people before they put them before us, man. All right, and that's really originally how it's supposed to be, man. You know, we ain't supposed to be buddy buddy up with Esau either, man. All right, because these are devils, you know. And that's why, uh, hold on, let me finish this real quick. It says, thus will I make Mount Sir most desolate and cut off from it him that passes out, him that returns. So the Lord's going to, you know, exterminate these devils, all right, 
forever. You know, after they save their time in captivity, they pay back for what they have done. They're going to be exterminated. That's how much the Lord hate these people because look at the things they have done to us, man. All right. But um, let me get this. Uh, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, yeah, Ecclesiasticus 12 and verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So never trust thy enemy, man. All right, Esau Edom is our e our enemy. All right, Jake is, is uh have been beguiled by the devil, you know, deceived, lied to, you know, all types of things. Even to this day, man, to where they believe that these people are their friend, these people are their brother. You know, that's what a lot of these emites come up to you and say, you know, brother, you know, call you brother, love to call you that shit, man. All right, but that's them trying to, you know put themselves in that at a position where you can trust them all right but you can never trust these devils man with anything that's why the scripture says never trust that enemy all right as iron rust of you know so is his wickedness so i am you know rest of gradually at, at, after you know a set amount of time that is you know left outside getting wronged on or anything or, or rained on so like you you know it start to you know rest you know same thing with these devils and their wickedness with their evil evilness man all right, they start to rest, man. All right, they start to show you their true colors, you know, gradually. You know, you start seeing shit like, what the fuck, no? He just snap on you out of nowhere, you know, and he, next thing you know, he, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I apologize because he slipped up. All right, and next time he, he, he go keep slipping up until he slip up with that N-word, then you're going to see that devil for who he really is, man. All right, and he's going to try to, you know, get back cool with you and stuff, man. But ultimately, man, that devil, that devil really hates you, man. All right, but it says though he humble himself, all right, he humble himself, make himself seem good, you know, call him, calling you brother, you know. Before he used to look at us as three, you know, as um, three fourths of a of of a human, you know, if I got it right, you know. But he 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 didn't even look at us as human beings, man, before, you know. But now he want to call you brother, you know, or brother, you know. It says and go crouching, yet take go good heed. And be rare of him, you know, so take good heed, you know, look at him, watch him, you know, be aware of this man, all right, because, you know, think about our history with these devils, man, all right, you know, they always played that little, you know, deceiving, deceptive, you know, trick where they, where you would think that they're cool, you know, y'all chilling the whole time, this this guy's trying to take you out, man, it says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou wipest, hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thy, by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked with them. All right, so don't, 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 you know, make this man your white right hand man, all right? No one sit with this man. No, you know you can't trust him. All right, that's what the Native Americans tried to do back then. That's why. That's how they got their land, land took. You know they try to help them. You know clean themselves. You know teach them the you know ways of how to actually live, man. These cavemen how to actually live. All right, and guess what they you know did. You know, it, 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 it's lucky they ended up. You know killing, you know slaughtering, and you know. The Native Americans are taking their land and, and, and spoiling with them, you know. But um, it says, "Lest he seek to take thy seat," you know. He he, he seek to take your place, man. And then they seek, you know. That's what these devils do, man. All right, they get by you, they get cool with you, but the whole time they they're plotting on you, man. All right. It says, "And thou at the last remember my worries and be pricked with their writh." Who will pity a charmer that is bitten by a serp with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So who's gonna pity you? You know, pity a charmer. You know that 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 willingly plays with a a, a snake, willingly plays with a, a serpent. Once that serpent bites you, you know you can't really be like you know, okay, you put yourself in that predicament. That's how you look at the charmer, man. You know, he put himself in that predicament to play with that snake, and then he got bit. You know, so who could really pity you for real, man? Or, or someone that come, you know, by a wild beast, you know, 
trying to go play with lions and shit, you know? Who's going to pity you, man? And that's what this, the scriptures are telling you. So who's going to pity you if you sit there and you, you try to be buddy-buddy with these damn devils, and next thing you know, you're hanging up in their garage somewhere, man? All right? And in the day, you know, you can't really trust these devils to be that cool and close to, a, to these devils, man. It says, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with, with him and his sins who will pity. Uh, it says, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. So he, for a while he go abide with thee. He go chill with you. He'll be able to play that part for a little minute, you know. But once you begin to fall, once you, once you see one slip up, he will not tarry to take over. <laughs> he will not tarry to, 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 to stab you in your back, you know. And you know, brothers had, you know, examples of that throughout their lives, man. You know, they'd be cool with you while you're chilling and stuff like that. But one thing happened. they exposing all your business. Are you telling them, you tell them this? Are you telling them that? All these uh, these secrets and shit, you know, are things that you want to tell. You would tell you only your closest homeboys. You know, they're going to expose you once one thing. You know, once you slip up once, man, you know, all your business is out. All right, it says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, you know, calling you brother. But in his heart, he imagines how to th throw thee into a pit. So in his heart, you know, he's thinking about taking your ass out, you know. All right, he calling you brother, you know, he calling you his friend and all these different things. But the whole time, he really trying to, you know, take your ass out, you know. It says, he will wipe his, he will weep with his eyes. But if he find an opportunity... He will not tarry. He will not be satisfied with blood. So once he find it, you know, he will weep with his eyes. But once he find an opportunity, man, he will not be satisfied with blood, man. All right. It says if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. <laughs> and though he pretend to help thee, he shall. Uh, yet shall he undermine thee. So when adversity come, you know you gonna find him. All right. You go. You go see him there. You know. And though he pretend like he's trying to help you, like he trying he pretend he's trying to be there for you, he gonna undermine you, man. He's gonna make it worse for you. All right. Um, what's the one scripture? Um, I think it's uh. Hold on, let me finish this real quick. It says he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much. And change his countenance. All right, so you know, he 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 put on that act. You know, when you rejoice, he rejoicing with you. You know, he try to put on that act like he he one of your realest friends, man. Day one, you know, got it out the mud with you, man. But the whole time, you know, that's just the devil, man. All right. Uh, I think it's this right here. I think, yeah, there it goes. It says, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly, and our Salaki, this is Ecclesiastic, because it's chapter 14, verse 7. It says, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. All right, so if this devil doeth good unto you, all right, try to be, try to play that card like he trying to help you through your adversity. You know, he's doing that unwillingly, man. All right, but at the end, he's going to declare his wickedness. He's going to show you he a wicked ass nigga, man. All right, Esau, Edom is the real niggas, man. All right, they're ignorant, you know. These are the real niggas, man. The shit that they done, that was some, they, they done some nigga shit, man. All right. But, um, Kyle, I wanted, uh, that's all I really want to get on that, you know, Lord willing. You know, this uh, lesson was edifying to the hopeful, you know, elect. And this chapter right here, Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 14, is a very good chapter to read. I'm just looking, just skimming through it, man. This is actually kind of, you know, a really good scripture to, uh, our chapter to read. You know, I recommend to read it. If you haven't, but um, kind of um, you know, that's all I really want to get on now. I want to give all praises to the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Lord willing, you know, the brethren much edified. Shalom.